Do you know this gentleman from before the time that you sold him your car? Yes, Your Honor. We are co-workers and we were friends. You bought a car from her, Mr. Hanna? Yes. How much did you pay for the car? 700 When did you purchase it? May 8, 2015. What kind of car? A uh, Mustang. When you purchased it from her, did you pick it up at her house? Yes. So far, is that all correct? Yes. And when you picked it up at her house, where did you take it? I parked it at my friend, uh, cousin's house. So. And how far does your cousin live from the plaintiff's house? A couple of miles. You didn't have a toad. You drove it there. I drove it. In May of 2015, what was your other vehicle? I had a 2003 Honda at the time. Was it in your name? Yes. And what were you going to do with the Mustang? My first intentions was to fix it up, get it running better. That was your first... Well, it was running. It was running. Now, you brought it to your cousin's house and parked it on the street? Yes. And were you given the title to it? When, you, I... when you gave her the $700, did yes. she give you the title? And when she gave you the title, did she sign it over to you? Yes. Now, what did you do on the 9th of May with the car? I think it's I It's going to get worse for him. <laughs> I think I went to uh, work the next day. I didn't turn in the paperwork. What about the 10th? Work again. When was the car impounded? I want to say in September of 2016. Your Honor, I have the, the lien. Just a second. Okay. Was it anywhere around September? It was in August. August, August of, 2nd of, of 2016. 2016. It was impounded. So now you've had the car for over a year. Yes. Failed to register it. You want to explain why? The reason why is... No, don't, don't look down there. So far, we're doing okay. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. It only gets bad for you when you look down and start to figure out, what did I say in my answer? What's the best story I can tell? What did you do with the car between May the of 2015 and September 2016? The car was just sitting. It wasn't just sitting at your cousin's house for a year and a half. Nobody lets a little Mustang sit in front of their cousin's house for a year and a half, accumulating dust. You want to tell me what you were doing with the car? The car was sitting. I planned to park the car out. What does that mean? Uh, take the parts and sell them. Well, you drove the car after you drove it on May 8th. The car look was me, barely look running. Look at me. You drove the car after you drove it on May 8th. I know that. Mm -hmm. So? So the car was barely running. It, ha it didn't even have a, a smog test, registrations, nothing. Whose fault is that? It's not mine. When I bought the car, it wasn't registered or anything. You bought it. It wasn't registered. You bought it from her. She turned over the title to you. Why didn't you register it? You used the car. I didn't have the funds to register it. There you go. That's an answer. So now what happened is the car was impounded. And because she is the registered owner of the car, because you failed to register the car... If she would have turned in... Don't, don't. Don't speak. I'm going to finish okay. my statement, and then you can make a fool of yourself. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So because you failed to register the car, and it was impounded, and it's still in her name, she was hit with the impound fees, which is why we are here today for this lawsuit. Now, sir, Mr. Hanna, you are free to make a fool of yourself to tell me why it's her fault. If she would have turned in a release, release if liability. If she would have what? The release liability, what, the we, car. Where was she supposed to do that? At the DMV. Now, if she didn't go to the DMV and sign a release of liability, but you went and registered the car, would we be standing here today? No, but at the same time. Right. So if I had to say the person who bought the car has a responsibility to register a vehicle after a year and a half, as opposed to, because I've sold a couple of used cars, I wouldn't go to the DMV and file a release of liability. I would figure that the person I sold the car to was going to do the appropriate thing, take the title that I've signed over to them, take it to the Department of Motor Vehicles, get it registered in their name, get it insured, do whatever is necessary to be a car owner, which is what you were going to do because your first idea was to fix it up and use it. You bought a car for $700 that you were able to drive two miles to your cousin's house, and you used it after that. I don't know what you that's used it in, for. That's not correct. Oh, don't tell me you no. didn't drive that car after I, May 8th. I only 8th. drove it one time. How much were the impound fees? Uh, 1665 Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done.